now we will go for creating a new user if at all a new user wants to sign up so what normally we have for that in our login page we should have sign up here link if you do not have an account please sign in here or new user sign up or something so for that we can do one thing which is very simple we have a create user page available with us and in this login control I'll go for the properties you have create user text and create user URL. In create user text, I'll write sign up here. And create user URL, I'll browse it to common folder create user page. Say OK. I got that link. Or you can have your separate link as we have taken in for uh, change password. In the same way, you can have your separate link but you have this facility available in login control itself so that it should look good now go for create user page and toolbox you have create user wizard drag and drop you get the complete create user control auto format professional say ok here you need to set property that is nothing but continue destination page URL that means if a user gets created successfully we need to send them back to the login page and you can also go for cancel destination page URL whenever user clicks on cancel button we should send it back to login page only whether the user gets created or user say cancel we are sending them back to the login page cancel destination page URL but do you see any cancel button here why because by default the cancel button is disabled you need to enable the cancel button display cancel button you have display cancel button which is set to false by default so I'll say true. We'll get the cancel button. Save this. Execute it. Now I'll log in. I need not to log in, right? I can simply click sign up here. Say so cancel. Back to the home page. Sign up here. Now I'll create a new user. Lily. Your account has been successfully created click continue and back on home page now let us log in with Lily Lily 1 at 3 it should take me to what page redirecting page role not assigned yet so Lily is an authentic user but we haven't assigned any role right we haven't assigned any role so let us assign the role to the lily how can we assign the role we can go for same tool now you should see three users there are three users now i'll say manage users we have got jack lily peter for lily edit roles and i can assign a role say i'm going to assign user role i'll say back now I'll execute now Lily should be redirected to the users page user page now I can change the role if I want I can also change the role manage users edit user I'll remove user and I'll assign admin now Lily will become admin that's it this is very simple this is how you can use create user control